I was like, why are you so obsessed with me? So today I'm extremely excited. This is going to be an updated box spray tutorial, except this time it's going to be super jumbo, out of the box, triangle parts. So <laughs> if you guys have been following me for quite some time, you guys would have seen my very first video. I think I did two separate uh, box spray videos, one in the color burgundy and then one in the color black. They were about medium sized sprays. And then of course I did do a jumbo cynically twist, which actually weren't that jumbo at all. So. Today's video is going to be a jumbo triangle box braid uh, type of video and uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, so the hair that I'm going to be using today is the super jumbo braid. Now, as you can see, this one comes in the blue pack. What I did not realize when I originally posted these box braid videos is I didn't even realize that the colors of the packs truly made a difference. So a lot of people will use like expressions hair. To me it's just a little too heavy. You end up having to do a lot of cutting and stretching. It's just a lot of uh, I guess maintenance before even putting the hair into your head. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go with these. This is a 100% Connectalon. I hope I'm saying that right. Connectalon hair. I'm sure if I'm saying it wrong, somebody will correct me. <laughs> But anywho, it is a super jumbo braid. So this hair is extremely thick. I believe last time I used uh, the yellow pack, which was the silky braid. That was the difference. I used about 10 to 12 packs then. In this case, because I'm using the super jumbo and not the silky, I'm only literally going to use six packs. So I've already pre-stressed the hair, like literally broke it down into sections for exactly how I'm going to go about um, braiding the hair. So if you're one of those people that have like a client that may be coming you really want to truly be able to prep and fly through those braids definitely go ahead and pre-stretch even if you don't know exactly what size you're gonna make the braids just do a good enough pieces of hair to where you feel comfortable you know with just picking it up and if you have to get rid of a little less I promise you that will speed up your braiding time like no other so like I said I use exactly or I will be using exactly six packs of hair I've already broken that down I've literally used or made about four to five different sections for a braid every one pack of super jumbo braiding hair. So if that makes sense, I'm literally using six packs to get about four to five braids. That's about 24 braids, right? So that's how many braids I'm going for. I've actually started to already pre-section on my hair. So that's done. Um, I have like a chunk in the middle, which I actually want to show you how to part your hair to do the triangles. But I do have some pre-parted sections just because I really just didn't want to be sitting here all day. That's really what it is. I am going to time this simply because I want you guys to truly see how long it takes for me to do my hair. Usually it's about four to six hours, but in this case, I imagine it should only take about three max. Max. <laughs> Alright, so for products, I already kind of pre-prepped my hair. I am going to be using the uh, coconut oil. You can pretty much use whatever coconut oil or whatever type of moisturizer you're comfortable with. Coconut oil tends to uh, penetrate my hair a lot easier and definitely gets deep down into where I need it to go. Um, and it just keeps it hydrated for a very long amount of time. So I'm also going to be using Cream of Nature products. If you guys have not already realized by now, every single video that I post about hair includes a Cream of Nature product. Like, that goes without being said. So I'm going to be using their extra holds, uh, what is this, perfect edge, edge control, why can't I talk? I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm using their extreme hold, I got this from my local beauty supply store. By the way, the packs of hair were $2.99 per pack. This um, holding spray, or not holding spray, but edge control is $5.99. I think I've seen it for about $4, but again, that just varies. It is a product that you can find on Amazon, in case you're wondering. And then also, I'm using the Cream of Nature. Um, this is the Gloss and Shine Spray. This is going to be a finishing, finishing spray for when I get done with the braids, just to kind of give it a gloss and a mist to just kind of really get my scalp out of that, like, ugh kind of weird feeling I, I don't know but you'll see <laughs> now for edges as well I do have another edge control that I've been using and I really really like this um, it's through a company called the beauty scene I'll make sure to post all of their information down in my description box below but it is another edge control here to me it's more like a gel um, I guess do you remember like jam it's very similar to like jam mixed with the edge control it's clear straight to the point I really really like this product especially on my edges so I'll be using this product in the front the cream of nature everywhere else um, or in the back and then of course finishing touches 
styling gel I'll be using the eco just to get my baby hairs intact once we get to that point so without further ado let's go ahead and get started all right so one of the most important tips that I kind of wanted to go ahead and give to you before we actually get into the video or you see me do this tutorial is the hair so I've already cut out um, a strand of hair just basically from the package itself it's not actually stretched or anything like that it's literally just very blunt across actually it kind of looks stretched but it's not I just want to show you really quickly how I stretch the hair I usually show this in all my tutorials but I hold the hair literally from the middle as taut as possible like literally the hair is not going anywhere I kind of use my hand to massage it and separate the hair to kind of a thin layer just like this so as you can see I'm kind of peeking through the hair but it's still very taut once I'm able to fill all the strands of the hair it's kind of thin I literally start to pull them apart from each other as you can see and I kind of do this sporadically and I'll move out further and further keeping it really really taut and in control and then literally once you let the hair go pull it back to the middle you will have a nice stretch in with the perfect tip every single time and this is what the hair looks like straight inside of the pack so as far as the length goes I cut the hair straight across where these rubber bands are and then I stretched it from that length just because this is extremely long I'm only 5'2 just did not want booty hole braids okay <laughs> Bye. 
happened because I feel like we haven't really talked, right? <laughs> so far, it only took me about two and a half hours. I was debating whether or not I wanted to do a rubber band method um, because these are such large parts. But what I realized is when you have a very good edge control or whatever product it is that you're using to smooth down your hair, you actually don't need it. And it's just a matter of if you're able to braid, I guess, uh, well or not. So... So I've been going back and forth between two edge controls. I've been using the Beauty Scene Edge Control, which to me, like I said before, is like a jam slash edge control. This, especially if you're a natural, is going to be the bomb.com. I'll definitely make sure that you get um, a link to where I got this. And then, of course, uh, the Cream of Nature and Argan Oil Extra Hold Edge Control just provides that nice, like, slick feel as well so the two together are like bomb if I could just mix them both it would be perfect <laughs> I'm just applying this all around the edges of like my part area here and this definitely helps clean up the part so everything looks really really smooth and one thing that I like about the edge control combination or even if you use either one separately neither one of the products um, actually have buildup or anything like that so you don't have to worry about your hair getting white or like anything it literally sets the style into place and you're all set and it's not like greasy at all so can't explain it's just a really good product so I'm just smoothing this over then I'm gonna of course comb my hair through because I want to make sure that it's as smooth as possible take the back of the comb just to really smooth the product through all right so once you pretty much have your products on the areas that you need it what I've been doing is twisting it and I didn't start doing this until I got to the front just because I kind of figured it out <laughs> I'm just twisting it all the way down and then as you can see the edge control literally locks this into place so not going anywhere it's almost like I'm um, freaking doing some locks right? All right so anyway here is the hair already pre-stretched of course and I like to instead of pulling this towards the front I like to start my braids from behind me and I literally sit it literally sit it over the top of my hair so it's able to move up and down freely and I'm using my hair as the third leg of the braid and just holding that really really close and tight to the scalp and then I'll start to do my braid so right now my hair is in the middle I could totally borrow some hair from the other two sides but I don't really need it my hair is thick enough to kind of maintain that thickness that I need and then now I'm just gonna start to borrow hair so my hair is in the middle taking a little from one side and then once my hair gets back in the middle again I'll take some from another side boom there we go so as you can see had I done the rubber band method this would have been so tight and stiff it would have took a couple days for this to kind of be able to do this motion which is why I didn't so yeah just a little tip for you guys but all done for the most part um, now that I have all my ASAP Brocky braids in <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get them dipped into some boiling hot water the reason we do that is to go ahead and not only seal the braids but to also loosen them up give them a little bit of life so as you can see the ends of the braids are really kind of stiff and not cute at all so I'm gonna dip them the water will kind of relax the hair boil it down and we'll be all good so I have the water here right beside me this is literally no joke if you guys are not professional or do not understand the boil method please don't do it um, if you need assistance definitely get some I'm pretty well versed in doing this but even I still have to take precautions so be really really careful this hair is this hair this water is boiling hot I even have like oven mitts but um, yeah so I'm just gonna take my pot which is already sitting here actually on my bra stool but neither here nor there um, and then a towel so I just have my towel ready to go I'm literally going to separate the hair into two and depending on how many braids you have it's uh, actually how you determine how you dip the braids but in this case I'm just separating them into two and I'm literally just gonna dip the tips as far as I can get them into the water and then dry them off. 